good morning grade 4 and welcome back to online art I hope you had a super week so today we are making an aquarium a tunnel aquarium so one of those aquariums that you walk through I don't know if you've ever seen them but there is a photo in the PowerPoint presentation now we are doing one point perspective it is very cool I have put a template in the general folder to help you because it is a little bit tricky if you don't have a printer, you can copy the one in the general folder or you can follow along now with me as I do it. In this video, I will also give you some instructions and some ideas. So stay tuned and let's get going. How we're going to start today is we are going to draw some fish. All right, so I have put some examples in the PowerPoint presentation. You can draw whatever fish you like. You can draw a turtle, you can draw a seahorse. Um, it's up to you. Just make sure it's easy to cut out because we will be cutting out and sticking our fish onto the aquarium. It just makes it a lot easier with the perspective drawing. Now, I have done one little clownfish as an example. So this is my clownfish and we'll then go into the perspective drawing. Um, I would obviously draw about mm, four or five fish just to make it interesting and then at the end I will stick them on to my piece. Okay boys, now we are going to find the center of our paper just because this is easier for us for our first one point perspective drawing. Right, so now I'm going to find the middle and this little dot that I put is the vanishing point. So what we're going to do is I would like you to go straight through your vanishing point. Remember like we did with our sunburst hearts. Straight through the vanishing point. You can start in the corners this time. Um, there we go and then straight through. All right, now obviously my ruler isn't long enough, so I'm gonna move it to this side and I'm gonna finish off my line, okay? It doesn't go exactly through the end, that's absolutely fine. Um, so now, this is going to be the one, the, this is gonna be the floor and this is going to be the aquarium roof, right? So I'm gonna go through again and boys, please remember, like we did with the sunburst hearts, from the corner through our center dot, and this line is going to carry on straight through. Okay, so now that I've done this, what I need to do is I need to, um, there we go. Okay, my paper's a little bit squonk. Um, what I need to do now is I need to do my flooring. So what the easiest thing for you to do is you get your ruler, fold your paper in half like I've done, and go all the way down. Now. Just like with the sunburst hearts, you're going to go straight from the middle dot to create your flooring. Um, to make it more exact, you can measure how big your um, floor is. So this is almost 16 centimeters, and this side is 16 centimeters. All right, so my paper is a little bit squonk, but we'll just do our best. So I'm going to measure 4, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, and then 16, okay? So on the same side, on the same thing again, this side, I'm going to measure 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters, and this is just a little bit over 4 because it's a bit big on this side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from my center line to each side. I'm going to pause the video here because it's quite a lot of just repetition, and I'll do a little time lapse. This is going to be our floor. So when we have the flooring coming out from the vanishing point, you can see that it's going from big to small like we did with our sunburst hearts. Now, when we're doing flooring, you're going to make the tiles exactly the same size. So we're going to measure this. And it is about, it is almost 12 centimeters. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do three centimeters no, two centimeters. So two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters, and then our tiles will just go off the page, okay? So you're gonna do your lines two centimeters down. Each and every line will be two centimeters, like that, like that, all the way down. And as you can see, it's starting to add a little bit of perspective now. So each one will be exactly the same size um, going down like this so exactly the same amount of space but your tiles do look like they are getting bigger because of the perspective 
Okay, now for our walls. So our walls are going to be coming out this way. Now, an easy way to do that is just link up your, um, your floor tiles with your wall things. So uh, for example, I'll make sure you rule it nice and straight. And I'm gonna draw from here to here as one wall. Okay, that's one wall panel. Then we're gonna come this side again. See, another wall panel. And I will carry on for each and every um, panel to make a wall as well. So, you, as you can see, it looks like it's coming from this direction now. And you can see because of the lines and um, these lines as well, it looks like a wall going this way. So it looks like a corridor. And this is one point perspective. So this is our vanishing point. If we had a horizon, um, this would be the horizon line here. So if you're doing a landscape, that would have been the horizon line, especially if you are doing a road or something. But because we're doing an aquarium, what you can probably do to make it, um, to add more of depth, so depth means like three, more 3D, you could make it darker on the sides, like a darker blue, and then as you go there, it would become a lighter blue. That's something you could do to add to the effect. Um, now, what I would also like you to do is I would now like you to stick on your little fishes, okay? So whatever fish you've done, you can stick your little fish on, and then if your fish overlaps the line, just draw, just go over the line with a twisty or something to show that that line is, the fish is inside the aquarium. And once you've done, once you've stuck down all your little fish, you can then go and draw in the rounded part of the aquarium. Now this might be quite tricky, but just get your lines, do it softly first. And as you can see, that now looks like a tunnel. So you're gonna do that with each and every single one of your, um, each and every single one of your wall things that we've put in. You're gonna go in. Nice shapes for me, using the same color that you've used on the wall. And now you can see it's starting to look much more like a tunnel. And with your fish there, it will look so, so nice. Okay. So now I've done all of these things, I just actually wanted to show you with the fish. So here is my little clownfish from the beginning. I would stick him in here somewhere, maybe here, because he's quite a big little fish. Um, so he'd be closer to us. And then I would stick him down. And when I do my coloring of my aquarium, I would just color a lot. So I'd stick him first and then I'd color a line over him just to show that he is in the aquarium with all the other fish. All right, now you can do your tiles whatever color you like. Just make sure that your water is blue. So this whole section here is going to be colored in blue. Um, obviously, you'll do your coloring before you stick down your fish. Otherwise, it will be very, very difficult for you to be able to um, to get like to not get the color on your little creatures. Okay, boys, have a lovely day. Remember, this is tiling down here, so you can do it in black and white like the example has it, or you can do it in rainbow colors or whatever colors. Just make sure that your water is blue. Super, have a lovely day.